So if you look at actually what cardiac rehabilitation entails, there's four phases to it. So one has a cardiac event uh, treated in the hospital. Uh, and then phase one cardiac rehabilitation is something that takes place in the hospital. So that's the so-called inpatient cardiac rehabilitation or ICR. So just prior to discharge, you know, two, three days out from a heart attack, uh, a cardiac rehab specialist will come talk to the patient, reassure them that they'll get better, reassure them that there is the, there is a, a plan in place to get back to their pre-event lifestyle, uh, talk about the resources in the outpatient setting and how to follow up, uh, and then determine when they're well enough to be discharged along with the cardiologist taking care of the patient, cardiologist or medicine doctor. So it's a collaborative effort. Phase two is the critical part of rehab. That's the core outpatient cardiac rehab. Usually for the first two months or so, that's the intensive outpatient cardiac rehabilitation. AIM is continuous assessment and review. This is the phase where a lot of the physical activity is happening. A lot of the exercise training is happening. You want to get the patient to their peak exercise capacity. We've talked, and, and th at the end of two weeks, you want to have made the behavioral modification and risk factor control that they really need. And phase three is just maintenance. So you have achieved something and you want to maintain that for the rest of the rehab phase, which is the last one month of rehab. Uh, and then phase four is, is just to continue that outside of a formal rehab program, is to continue the, um, the exercise um, changes or exercise regime and the lifestyle changes one has achieved through the three phases of in, inpatient and outpatient cardiac rehabilitation. And then Dr. Snigda mentioned, you know, today's COVID pandemic era, how does, how does cardiac rehab function now? So until now, everything had been, you have a rehab center, they have, they have machines, you know, treadmills, elliptics, uh, gyrometer based exercises, upper arm exercises, lower body exercises, cycles, all this equipment. But today going to a physical location is like going to the gym and that may, that, that may be problematic. So home-based cardiac rehabilitation is a offshoot of standard cardiac rehabilitation. And basically after, um, um, and this really uses a lot of technology, uh, you know, a Fitbit or a smartwatch to look at exercise parameters, um, collaborate with the rehabilitation center um, to, and then virtually have exercise programs uh, and then be able to monitor uh, patients' responses to those uh, programs. So some of some studies, this was a study from Kaiser Permanente published uh, online in the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, basically, you know, they enrolled 2,000 patients, 2,000 plus patients, uh, reasonable adherence, 1,800 patients finished the program. Um, and, uh, and then the number of events were low. So this is a proof of concept that home-based cardiac rehabilitation also works. The key is to actually have that regular communication with the rehab uh, specialists and to be able to perform um, um the exercise and have that feedback and, and this translates into health benefits. So it's a feasible uh, model of, of providing healthcare. 